Hello everyone. Let us look into recipes in this class. So one mouth watering picture is given here. It's very beautiful. Children, have you ever heard the word recipe? What do you know about the word? What does it mean? Take a guess. So what is a recipe? Let us now understand the word by looking at its meaning. A recipe is a set of instructions for making or preparing an item of food. For example, gobi manchurian, biryani, etc. It is important to follow the steps in the same order that is in in the sequence that is given in cookbooks have recipes mothers share their recipes right so recipe means is a set of instructions for making or preparing an item of food children do you like ice cream yeah, I know. Everybody love ice cream. We shall now read a recipe to make simple homemade ice cream in less than 10 minutes. Are you ready? Really excited, right? Okay. So, ice cream trivia. Ice cream is made from milk and other milk ingredients like cream, skimmed milk powder and whey powder so skimmed milk powder has very less of fat and whey powder means protein powder which you will get in markets did you know that half a cup of regular vanilla ice cream can be a source of nutrients such as calcium and vitamin a yeah, it's true because they are use they use milk powder and protein powder while making ice creams, right? So you will get nutrition like uh, calcium and vitamin A. Okay, children, now let us have a look on the ingredients needed to make ice cream. First, the thing you want is 2 to 3 tablespoons of white sugar, about uh, 40 grams. 1 cup cream whipped, whipped cream, that is about uh, 200 grams. Half teaspoon vanilla essence. Vanilla essence you will get in the market. 2.5 grams of vanilla essence. And half cup table salt then one big bag of ice cubes then two plastic bags that is for mixing and here a scale for measuring ingredients is given a picture is given there okay now let us look at the steps of making ice creams so step one Mix the sugar. Mix the sugar, cream, vanilla essence in a plastic bag. Mix it to make an even paste. Then make sure the sugar is completely mixed. You can also add chocolate or fruits instead of vanilla essence you can also add chocolate or fruit instead of vanilla essence fruit taste syrup you will get in the market you can add that syrup instead of vanilla essence in step 2 close the plastic bag tightly like it is shown in the picture then you have to squeeze out 
have to squeeze out or take out any extra air from the bag. There should not be any air in the bag. So step 3. Place the salt and ice cubes. Place the salt and ice cubes in the small bag. It should be about half full. Not completely full. Half full. Place the sealed small sized bag into the bag with the ice cubes and salt. Place the sealed small sized bag into the bag with the ice cubes and salt. The salt and ice will freeze the creamy mixture. The salt and ice will freeze the creamy mixture. So the salt and ice cubes in a plastic bag, the picture is given there. In step 4, put on gloves and start shaking, shaking the bag. Shake for 5 to 10 minutes. Shake for 5 to 10 minutes. After this, check the consistency, that is the smoothness of your ice cream to see if it is ready. You can check if it is ready by checking its consistency or smoothness. A small bag in a bag of ice and salt is, uh, the picture is shown there. In step 5, after enough shaking, take out Take out the ice cream mixture before opening the inner bag. So you have to uh, take out the ice cream mixture before opening the inner bag. You don't want any salt or ice in your ice cream, right? So you have to take out. And finally, your ice cream is ready. So a scoop of ice cream is shown there. Yeah, it's very, very delicious looking. Children, you might have noticed that I was stressing on few words while reading the recipe steps. And sometimes I have repeated few words, right? You might have noticed it. So those words are the verbs or the action words. So now let us look at the verbs in recipes. Remember, verbs are words that show action. Did you notice how many verbs are in the recipe? So now you have to check the table in the next slide and see for yourself. Say these verbs out loud. Can you see the action in each word? Yeah, here comes. Dear children, you, here you have a list of verbs which we can find in a recipe. These verbs usually appear in a recipe. Read these verbs aloud with me and also try to remember the action associated with these verbs. Ready? Okay. Stir, stir, see, make, mix, add, seal, squeeze, shake, place, Freeze, put, see, which is repeated, eat, serve, grab, keep. So these are the verbs which we usually see in a recipe. I think you have remembered the actions also. 
Now let us learn few more verbs and its actions here. So eat is a verb. The picture associated with eat or the action associated with eat is given there. And another verb serve. So one action picture is given there. And one more verb that is squeeze. One picture of squeezing is given there. So these are the verbs. Okay, children, now you have an interesting activity. Now you have to turn to a partner in your table group. Together, think of more verbs connected to cooking. So now you have to think more verbs related to cooking with your partner. Write these verbs in your notebook. Then after you finish writing, share it with your class. Did you get did you get me children? Are you ready? Yes, it's a time for your pair work. Okay, children, now it's uh, homework time. So what is your favorite dish that your mother makes? So you have got one your favorite dish, right? So what is that? Now you have to speak to your mother and ask her for the recipe. Okay, you have to ask your favorite dish recipe from your mother. Then write it in order as a recipe in your notebook. That you have to write it in sequence. Then start with writing the ingredients. What is needed to make the dish and uh, like that you have to write the ingredients first and then the steps to make it. Like we have just saw the making of ice cream. So you have to ask your mother for the recipe of your favorite dish and you have to write it on your book. And then you have to identify the verbs in the recipe that is the homework for you so i think it's a very delicious homework so all the best and thank you children